so extra But I know I'm the same yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma oh, Give me back. what Good I morning. need Good morning It is the next day Might be looking a little bit shiny Because I just did my skincare Nyana Nyana uh, I'm actually heading upstairs to get ready uh, because I am going out with the boy today and we're gonna spend quite a number of hours together so I might not vlog the rest of today but I have a little bit of a dilemma because uh, where do I even start I have a little bit of a dilemma because I have to pick outfits for today two in particular because the first thing is a movie we are going to watch the matrix resurrections today and i typically like to be very comfortable when i go to a movie i like to be in sweats or a jean and a sweater or i just really like to be comfortable i will do my makeup and all of that but the challenge after that is straight after the movie it's sundown as an early dinner and that's at a nice place i'm gonna try and get some footage um on my phone because i'm not going to carry my camera with me but for that i'd like to look a little bit smarter so i'm in a little little bit little little bit of a dilemma because i thought okay i'll probably just wear tea and jeans for the movie maybe carry a sweater with me or a jacket you know something that i won't have to pull over my head so that it ruins my makeup so i'll probably just carry a jacket with me that's fine but then after that i need to change <laughs> and coming home is not an option to change because it's quite a distance out so so i'm gonna take you upstairs and show you the outfit choices that i do have that i've planned and then I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'm probably gonna close the vlog here the other safest option is to wear a bodycon dress but now the thing is if I wear a bodycon dress I don't know I feel like I've I've worn all my bodycon dresses if I had something fresh different sure you know but whatever here's the options okay now denims right these this is a dark blue denim that i'm thinking of wearing with a, just a simple tee for the movie okay that's the plan and then after the movie i'm thinking to take off the tee and then wear this with this blouse underneath and then i would wear this more like a caftan as opposed to wearing it the way i normally wear it as a dress so it's it's pretty long i would probably wear it as a caftan i'm gonna try them on now so that you can see and then that's option number one for the for the what should we call it for the lunch right and then option number two is this i haven't actually worn this out yet I've actually worn it like here at home and all of that. So I haven't really worn this out yet. I could also wear this with a black blouse underneath with the jeans and black heels. That could also be a thing. We're going to try all these out. And then another option is to wear my leather pants. This for the... My phone is ringing. Could be my grandmother. Uh, the Zara suit and bodysuit and or the t-shirt i don't know let me answer this one so this is these are the jeans right i've just tucked it in the blouse in in the front here i'm gonna take all of this off so that i could put my makeup on and then i'll wear it all again but the outfits that i'm trying on now are the outfits that i want to wear for um the lunch okay i'm not so much worried about the dinner i'm not i'm not um i'm more worried about the lunch okay so i was thinking of rocking it uh see i'm not gonna be happy with this hang on hang on fit number one right have it open like so I, I don't i don't know i don't know this could be fit one and then we're just some heels let me see fit one i could wear it with these I don't have to tie them as yet i just want to see how it'll look i could i could wear these because they're cute 
but this one could be outfit one wear it like a caftan kind of vibe really cute uh with my aldo uh shoes i haven't worn these in a while and they are so sexy we love them i could wear it like this i could rock this look okay i love this look but now something about how i don't it's cute right it's cute but something about how i don't like the frumpiness look of the shirt it doesn't it doesn't it makes me kind of look frumpy you get what i'm saying like the other one kind of holds my body quite nicely this one is cute but it's the front front for me honey but it's so cute i think with heels it would look really really nice uh black heels in this instance because but now the problem is this this is going to irritate me this part because it's not leaning into my elbows so I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. well, we're gonna do a denim look, but I think we're gonna do a denim look. I think so. Yep. And with this denim, I can wear it with these. It would be cute. It's like a blue, blue and blue. Um, just stick that in there much tighter so that. It doesn't look like, you know. Frumpy. I'm just trying to have it look frumpy though. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> this is a look. <gasps> this is a look. <gasps> okay. It's cute. It's very, very cute. Actually, I can keep the same bra on because all I need to do is just move it. But now I need to wear something. The problem is the weather is not the friendliest. So I need to wear something uh, on top. So here's the thing. I don't know about the faux leather pants when you are going to a meeting. Okay? Okay? But the thing is, in life, you can wear whatever the fuck you want to wear. No one's going to tell you nothing. Nothing. You can wear whatever you want to wear. I am running out of time because I'm pretty sure this person gonna rock up in the next half an hour and by that time I still won't be ready because oh wow okay they're cutting the grass so I'm just gonna have to do my makeup without um... yeah okay so they finished cutting the grass and I was just thinking that the first outfit that I showed you the caftan vibe I think that one I will reserve for Christmas because I think that'll be nice to wear on Christmas Day and all of that. The all black vibe, the last one that I showed you, I think that's nice for more night time. I'm trying to find ways to convince myself why I can't wear those ones today. But the one that makes more practical sense, and I'm not even going to lie to you guys, the one that makes the more practical sense is by far by a landslide is the denim on denim one why because it is afternoon sundowners blah 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 it is a lot more relaxed it's not like um a, a dinner date you know it is afternoon sundowners um at a really nice steak place and all of that so by if we're gonna get there at like four o'clock or four thirty we'll probably be out of there by seven ish i think and then we we're probably just gonna hang out here at home so and watch something funny <laughs> so i'm thinking that makes more sense uh because it is a lot more relaxed but wearing heels with it just makes it a lot more put together so it does make it too casual and denim on denim has always been something that works really quite nicely especially with uh nude heels as well so I'm kind of okay with it. You guys remember white chicks? Oh my god, Tiffany! Oh my god, Brittany! <laughs> you know, I thought, I thought I'd woken up early and I had all the time in the world. Have you ever done that? Where you like, you plan that, okay, I'm getting up early today, I've got all the time in the world, and the next thing you know, you're like, oh my god, so much time has passed, oh my god, what's going on? What's going on? Anyway. It's fine, it's fine. Spritz um, me, honey. 
perfect okay perfect pretty okay. what's tomorrow friday so when it pop off it's like oh my all good all day but the night we be going so hard on the flip side so tell me we'll be on a day babe i could keep that same energy when you go low i go low too but you'd rather stay high i know you can we stay high babe i'd rather be on that way trying to control our emotions if we on a rise out of passion we could share love in the ocean but if you wanna go insane the way baby we could go all night we could do it all night we could go all night do we heal do we bleed I'm hi <laughs> ha <coughs> i'm having a bit of a coughing fit hang on two seconds <coughs> all right good morning it is uh, December the 27th. Today is Monday and uh, Christmas is over and uh, I'm actually on my way out. I'm headed over to my sister's place. My sister uh, is taking me with to go pick up my Christmas present from her to me, which is, I know what it is. I just, I'm really weird about it. Um, and just thinking about it is really going to make me emotional because I'll talk about that later. So we're going to go and uh, get that and possibly maybe also have brunch and just relax, catch up. You know, last time I saw my sister was on Christmas Day and um, that's going to happen. I'm feeling a little bit anxious. I'm very anxious uh, this morning based on the fact that I'm, I'm going to um, to get this thing with my sister. Very, very anxious. I, I have a really weird kind of personality. Um, when people do nice things for me, I find it really weird. I don't know how to react to it. It's almost like when people compliment me, I find it really weird. Like I don't know how to act to it. Like it's just like, okay, thank you, thank you. Stop, stop. Um, <clears throat> And this is, is probably by far the biggest thing that my sister's done for me. So I'm really, really weird about it. I don't know how to receive it. I don't know, like receive it like mentally, not receive it physically. I'm obviously going to receive it, but I just mentally, I can't connect the dots. Like it's cool. It's a gift. I, I, I just, <laughs> I'm really struggling a little bit here. Um, so does does that on that uh i'm starting the vlog here i am also going to be using my camera my phone <clears throat> when we're out and about i'm not going to carry my camera with me today so i will make it a point that i record everything i'll make it a point that i record everything um so yeah i just need to top up my I need to top up my sanitizer. I need to top it up because this one, this one, this is the one that goes in my bag. This one is empty, empty. So I just need to pop that in there a little bit. Just a bunch of that. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm feeling some type of way, but I'm, I'm trying to, my sister's really, really excited for this. So I'm trying to be excited too. I really don't want to dampen her um, <clears throat> mood about this. You know, I know she's so excited about it and all of that. So I really don't want to, what is the sanitizer doing though? I'm going to make myself some water in my uh, black tumbler. I'm dressed in black. What's new? What's new? What's new? Good sis is always dressed in black. Uh, <clears throat> then going to head out and go see the girl and try really really try to i'm gonna be present yes but try to be excited and not let my feelings of i don't deserve this mentality crop into my head 
and we'll talk about this there's a conversation that i need us to have about um just you know luxury items and 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 <laughs> Can you really tell where I'm going with this? <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you guys a little bit uh, later. Let me make my water and get out of here before she calls me and starts. Because she wanted, she wanted us to do this on Saturday. On Sunday, sorry, yesterday. And uh, I didn't want to. I, I, I just said everything in my power to just discourage her from doing this and I was just like no it's fine besides you're not even feeling well maybe just rest you know we'll think about it we'll we'll maybe do it later on during the week and I was hoping that she wouldn't call me today and she did and she was like get your ass up get ready and let's go so that's what we're gonna do today and of course I'll uh, show you guys what it is a little bit later on and then we can have the little chat about stuff <laughs> so where did we just come from say something without saying too much at the same time we came from that place where my dad made fun of me and said is that the only belt you have mm -hmm. and it was at the time yeah the people now, who watch me watch mm -hmm, you so they're mm -hmm. gonna know yeah so, those who know know that i've only got one belt from one brand so yeah. that's where we came from because you know we grab bitches like that but <laughs> All of my calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should the talk through it in detail I separate ways ain't gon' end well No But when we get back it's like oh my All bad all day but the night I Get that good good till we act right So tell me where we on the day babe I could keep that same energy When you go low I go low too You'd rather stay high, I know you. Can we stay high? Hey. So, um, it's the next day. You have probably seen the footage. If you haven't seen the footage of today, I'm gonna throw it in now. I'd rather be on that wave, trying to control our emotions. If we wanna rise out of passion, we can share love in the ocean. You wanna go insane either way, baby. We could go on. We could do it all night. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'ma follow your lead. We could go all night. Okay. I've been calm, cool, collected, but you pushing on my nerves. And I'm knowing your intention, I'm under pressure. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got acidic in the tone and the presence. I get careless. Long as you know, I come with imperfections. When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh. You something special. Know you looking bomb the way you dress it. Gone flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest. You got the leverage. You got the upper handle on the situation. You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather. Um, I was with my grandmother today. And we spent a couple of hours together. A lot of hours together. Uh, it's been a very, very, very <clears throat> long day. Lots to share with you. I have actually been up, I have actually been up since, uh, I don't know, um, 7 a.m. And I was actually, uh, I went to bed around half past three because at 1 a.m. I was in the hospital. Uh, not for me, but we'll talk about it just now. Um, I am exhausted. I'm tired. It's 20 past three spent the day with my grandmother my grandmother needed to get a couple of things from the shops and i took her with my hair is actually really at this point driving me crazy i'm starting to hate it and at this point i'm thinking it's time to cut my hair that's how i feel about it um so i've got a bunch of bags as you can see it's not really a haul but it might be a grocery i don't know bro i'm just gonna show y'all what i got okay uh it's a bunch of things Everything is kind of mixed up because my grandmother also bought something. So when I got to the house, when I dropped her off, I had to take out my stuff and whatever. So you might, it's just going to be a lot. It's just going to be a lot. Um, first out are my, you, wow, don't, don't do that now. First out are my favorite juices um, from Woolies. Favorite freshly squeezed. This is uh, ruby fruit grape juice. I absolutely love it. And then this time around, I typically buy Acha. I believe Acha is a South African thing. I, I typically buy the Miami Acha from Pick and Pay or Spa or whatever the brand is Miami. 
But my grandmother was like, nah, bro, let me put you on, okay? Nah, bro. That Miami ain't nothing. You need to have the acha from Woolies. So I picked up the mild aromatic mango acha from Woolies. We love this. If you're not South African and you've got no idea what acha is, uh, we have this pretty much with everything. We have it with eggs. We have it with meat, rice, bop, rice, meat, pizza. There are actually some crazy ass people who put acha on pizza, okay? I might be one of those people. Sometimes, sometimes. Um, but I don't eat acha all the time because it gives me a problem. I'm a and a problem, but I visit it sometimes. And because I was out and my grandmother was like, pick it up, I picked it up. So, got some acha. Um, what's new here? We're not, we're not even going to talk about it. And if there are any doctors who watch this uh, video or who watch my channel, please let me know if there's something because I feel like I'm, I'm onto something here. So I drink a lot of lemon water. You might have picked it up in my videos. I drink a lot of lemon water. I'm trying not to have lemon water today, but I drink a lot of lemon water in a day. And I've realized since I started drinking lemon water, my sinuses act up quite a bit. The back of my throat gets really scratchy. My ears get really itchy as well. And I'm really thinking that it's highly possibly because uh, I'm, getting really, I'm getting aggravated by the lemon. But it could just be me. But it's been happening quite a lot since I started drinking the lemon water. So I don't know. I add lemon to everything. To water, to coke, to drinks, whatever. I add it to my gins. I add it. So please, if there's a doctor, let me know. Got some avocado because I am on an avocado kick. I've uh, got some bananas because I haven't had bananas in a minute. These are organic bananas. I normally tip, typically pick up just the small bananas from Woolies. And my grandma was like, no, take these. I don't know what the, what the fuss is, but my grandmama feels like she knows everything. So, I don't know. Like, she does. She knows everything. Okay? She does. So, yeah. Two of these. I don't know if this was a wise idea because if it is the lemon that's aggravating me, I need to stop that. But whatever, I'm picking it. Cha, I am so tired. It is so hot today. And yesterday it was raining like crazy. Cha. Mm hmm Okay. Um, household things that I needed to top up on. Jick. Uh, we, we all know what we use jick for. Uh, well, in this country we call it jick. And, well, it's bleach as well. But the brand is jick. Uh, it's pretty much bleach. Um, bin bags, pads, not pads. What are these things? Tampons. These are the Lillette ones. I really, really like them. So, yeah. And then this one, uh, <laughs> okay. There was a time, there's a story behind these. These are the Labello, uh, mid repair, um, oil free lip lip repair things okay that's pretty much what they look like there you go there you go kind of guard kind of guard and the nivea pearl and beauty i was just pretty much topping this one up because i've got quite a bunch of those so i just got one uh kitchen towels because the uh cotex everyday panty liners because the Nivea because I've got it seems like I have a lot more shower gels shower creams but not really that much um, oils uh, what's this moisturizers so I picked up the cherry blossom one which is one of my favorite ones and then I also picked up the new one this is new and it's the coconut and manoi oil Coconut, can you tell? Of course, you know how much I love coconut. Coconut and um, It's about an hour and a half later. I took a call and I had to take the call. And it was an hour and a half long. Uh, personally, guys, I'm tired. Um, there's so much that I wanted to discuss and talk to you guys about and all of that stuff. But before I get into the serious stuff, my grandmother, you know, grandmothers are wonderful because 
they eat sweets. Hmm? Have you noticed that the older they get, they eat more sweets? Have you noticed? Where's my drink? Okay. I'm literally having a drink. Okay. Have you noticed that the older they get, they eat more sweets? So, after the day that I had given her and the money I had spent on her, uh, we got to the house and I helped her unpack her stuff and, and put things in the cupboards and the fridge and all of that. And she was like, oh, well, I've got a couple of sweets for you. <laughs> so she opened up a big pack. Now, hear me. She opened up a big pack of quality street sweets. And we love quality street sweets here. Okay. And she only gave me four. She was like, oh, okay, yeah, here are the sweets. So, uh, grandma, grandmothers are just wonderful, bro. They're just great. They're just really great. Um, so sorry, I was on a call with my friend, um, with Mbals. And we we're just having a really wonderful chat. And I did want us to sit and chat. I just don't know. I just feel tired. And the drink is, I think, making me even more tired because I've barely slept. Um, I haven't, I haven't gotten a chance to do anything. Uh, but the reality is yesterday I was out with my sister. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that my sister surprised me by buying me some luxury items. Which for me was a little bit hard to accept. Because I'm this person, and I don't know if you are, and let's talk about it in the comments if you are. Are you subscribed? Do that, please. Thanks. Uh, but um, I'm very hard uh, to accept gifts. I'm very difficult when it comes to accepting gifts. Um, I'm very... I don't know. I don't know how to accept gifts. Whether it be something small or something big, I don't know. I always have to think and say, no, let's talk about it first. Don't buy it first. Don't do this. Don't do this. My sister bought me two luxury items from Gucci last night, yesterday. And uh, I'll do a separate video where I unbox the items because <laughs> she said, I'm going to get these for you. And the requirement is you have to unbox them on your channel in a separate video because I was going to throw it in the vlog. I really was going to throw it in here, uh, but I couldn't uh, because she demands that I do a luxury unboxing, whatever. Now, here's the thing with me and luxury items. I grew up in a family where we've grown up in a family where luxury items are not uncommon to us. We have a number of luxury items. I have a, a number of luxury items. I just don't share them on the channel. I don't e I barely even use them in real life. I need a my lips are dry. I barely use luxury my luxury items even when I'm out and about. Because I have this thing that one, I do not like drawing attention to myself. And I know luxury items typically do draw attention to you in some way um, or other. So in our family, we grew up being exposed to luxury items and luxury goods. And we are aware of them and we have them and it's all of that. I just don't share them on the channel if i am wearing a luxury item of clothing or um <clears throat> a bag or a shoe i don't share it on the channel I, I i'm probably not gonna vlog all of that and blah 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 but i realized that it's the conditioning as well it's it, it goes hand in hand with this feeling that I always have that I'm not deserving or no, let's talk about it. Don't buy it first. Don't do this. Don't do this. That uh, makes me feel like I'm kind of being boastful if I walk out with an LV bag or if I walk out wearing Valentino shoes. I've just a prime example. I've got Valentino shoes that I've had for five years one of the luxury shoes that i have and i've had them for about five years and i've only worn them once and i don't know why 
<laughs> I don't know why I've only worn them once and I feel like it's that thing and I appreciate my sister's generation the young people who are just not apologetic for what they have how they've acquired it doesn't matter how you've acquired that luxury item they're just not apologetic for it and i feel like i wish that there was some part of me that felt this way when my sister got me these items it was a complete surprise to me and she also got something for our mom and she always gets something for dad like she always gets something for dad and um when she did that even walking out of the store i couldn't hold those paper bags in my hands and I remember telling her that I feel like it's because it attracts too much attention to me and I don't like that and that might be a personality trait and that might be just because of who I am and the introvert that I am and 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 just just feeling like I, I just don't want to I just don't want to attract the attention but at the same time I feel like but she's done this for me you know and, 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 and she's done this because she knows the kind of person that I am. I'm very difficult to receiving gifts. And I'm very difficult to receiving. And when I say difficult, I mean I'm awkward when it comes to receiving gifts. I don't know how to receive them. I don't know how to be thankful and just say thank you. Because she always says to me, just say thank you and keep it moving. And I'm just like, nah, I want to do this. So I don't know how to, I'm very awkward with gifts. I'm very awkward with compliments. Like, oh, you look so pretty and whatever. And um, <laughs> my sister bought these gifts because there's many things that I don't talk about on this channel. And one of the things that I don't speak about is how difficult things are. Because it's great that you guys see that, oh, it's... She lives in a great house and she drives a nice car or she seems to be living the life that I want and all of that. And I'm, I'm thankful that you see that to me and I hope that it motivates you to want that and to push yourself to get that. But at the same time, what you don't see is the struggles that I have, is the sleepless nights that I have, is how work got so severely badly impacted by COVID and look things are picking up now so it's fine but in the last two years mentally physically financially it's been a mess for me and I don't really talk about these things and uh maybe I will one day just not today <laughs> because also the drink gal Maybe I will one day, but maybe I won't because uh, then again, it's also in my personality not to speak too much about my personal affairs. But my sister kind of, you know, she said some really, really um, amazing things to me yesterday in the personal private conversations that we had. And all I said was that for the first time in a long time, I felt seen. And I felt like someone was just like, we know you're hard to receiving gifts. We know that you're hard to uh, accepting them and, and accepting compliments and all of that. But I'm going to do this for you anyway and just take it. Just take it. If you don't want the gift, throw it away. If you don't want it, give it away to somebody and whatever. And my sister did it anyway. So yesterday, I couldn't vlog when I came back because... Well, because of other things that ended up happening. But I couldn't vlog when I came back because I felt like I didn't know what to say. For the most part, so there is an unboxing coming with those things. But I couldn't vlog because I didn't know what to say. And for the most part, I felt like it's that's fine. I don't need to know what to say. If I don't want to vlog, I'm not going to vlog it. Um... But it's hard for me as a person who always, and my sister always says this, I'm not trying to blow my horn or whatever. Christmas time, birthdays, what, 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 what. I'm always giving gifts. 
I'm always making sure or trying to have that person enjoy their day or trying to, you know, be present in the moment for Christmases and whatever and times with family and always trying to help out that when it comes my turn, I'm awkward about it. I don't know how to receive it. It's weird for me. My sister is the one person in my family that I'm the closest to. Facts. But I just didn't know how to receive what she had done for me yesterday. It was weird for me, right? And um, I mean, I cried. I spent a lot of time crying yesterday. I cried like a mess in the car, in her car. And, um, and then I realized to myself that why? Why do we live this life where we are ashamed? Well, not ashamed, but we are a little bit apprehensive of showing, you know, or allowing ourselves to be happy and allowing ourselves to be thankful that someone did something nice for us. And I feel like for me, for the longest time, I mean, members of my family have done wonderful things for me, and don't get me wrong. But for, for the longest time, um, especially this year, my sister knows what a shitty year that I've had. Uh, she knows that it was bad at the beginning of the year on the personal front. It was bad on the work front from 2020 and 2021. Uh, it was bad in the family front she knew all of those things and she just wanted me to end up end off my year on a high by making me happy and buying me something that i wanted that i chose for myself it wasn't a surprise where she was like oh here you go like it or not here it is she i chose these things for myself these two items for myself and for the first time i felt seen because for a long time Someone like me, or someone with my personality, we often go under the radar. It's always, no, I, and we're okay with that. Like, don't get me wrong. It's always like, no, they, they, yeah, let my sister shine. Let my brothers shine. Let my, that, let all of them have the spotlight, right? I don't like attention on me. I don't. I really don't. Um... Go figure, you know, given the fact that I have a YouTube channel, what do you mean? Um, but I don't, I really don't. And maybe in some ways that's why my channel, I can't go without being as authentic as I am. I can't go without expressing that I'm having a bad day today and I really can't, I'm struggling and my mental health is really struggling today. But for the first time, in give or take a year and some i felt seen and two people have really made me feel seen and my sister is one of them and my current partner is another one of them i felt that i i'm someone's something and someone is realizing that this is how much i mean to them or to the whole squad, family, whatever. And I'm not saying that the rest of my family members don't see me, hear me. I come from a really great family. And the other person, actually the third person, the third person that's made me feel seen is my grandmother. And I'm speaking about people that I, I speak to the most. I mean, my friends always make me feel seen and whatever, but just hear me, flow with me for a little bit. Uh, these are the people that know my deepest, darkest secrets. And so for the first time yesterday, my sister made me feel seen. And I remember I tweeted it because I celebrate people a lot. And I enjoy celebrating people. And I don't celebrate them because I feel like, ah, oh, I have to celebrate them. I have to follow the crowd or whatever. If I'm celebrating you, I'm legit celebrating you from my heart, from my core, from my soul, from my everything. And I felt celebrated yesterday. And, uh, and I felt celebrated by my family as well. Because when they found out, you know, 
you know, my family said some things, mom said some things, dad said some things that made me feel, wow. Um, so I've had a rather emotional two days because after yesterday happened, at one o'clock in the morning, I got a call, a text to say my sister was in the hospital. But my sister's fine. Um, she just wasn't feeling well. And um, maybe she'll talk about it on her channel. It's not my story to tell. She just wasn't feeling well. And thankfully, with tests being done and all of that, she's fine. She's at her house right now. She is fine now. Thank God. So, yeah. It's been a rather eventful two days <laughs> with a roller coaster of emotions. I was really happy yesterday during the day and at this time. And then at 1 a.m. I was really scared and frightened and um, sad and just full of sorrow. Like, how do you make me happy and then go land up in the hospital? What, do you, what are you doing, bro? Um, so if you are that person who struggles to accept that in that particular moment someone is appreciating you and they're choosing to do something nice for you know that you're not alone i'm 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 number 1 but also at the same time um also know that it's okay to accept goodness into your life and to accept good things and nice things and when i mean nice things i don't mean luxury items i also mean the nice feelings of just being happy. I mean, I for instance, I'm in a great relationship right now. Great relationship. It's so fulfilling on so many levels. But I keep thinking in my head that, oh my God, what if the ball drops? Oh my God, what if something happens? And I get so consumed, consumed by those thoughts that I... forget to live in the moment of just being happy. Like I'm in this point that I'm happy. I'm with someone who treats me really well. And I'm with somebody who is emotionally available. And I'm with somebody who just gets shit, you know? But I always kind of just always have that part of me that's just like, but, but, but. Why? So I'm learning and I feel like it's, it's, it's going to be a hard habit to break because it's been me my whole life. Um, I know my, my sister doesn't watch my videos, but if you're here and you watch my sister's videos as well and you follow my sister, send her a DM on Instagram and tell her I said thank you because I've been saying thank you for forever. <laughs> but tell her I said thank you and tell her I said I love her. Tell her on her channel as well. <laughs> but without having to make things soppy, yes. Yesterday was amazing. Scored myself some luxury items. Uh, which was wild. Because I haven't bought myself a luxury item in forever. Forever. Um, but we used to, we buy each other luxury items at home and all of that. Bought my dad a couple of things, moms, whatever. Like, it's what we do. But I just, I'm on a little bit of a high right now. Now that I know my sister's okay as well, two times high. I'm going to go because it's kind of stupid now talking. Um, but I hope you guys are well and be kind to yourselves as i'm filming this is the 28th so you might see it after probably the new year but i'll try and get it out as soon as possible um